Away you go again, do the same thing. There we go. And push that way. Lateral push. <laughs> so if she's having trouble doing that, would you repress that then? Or just practice the cues first? So she might just go static. Yeah, go low. Yeah, if she's having balance issues, you go on the wall. Yep. This should take the balance issues away, but some okay. people still have issues because they have yep. to compensate. Yeah, they tend to lean on the wall. Yeah, and they might just do this. Yep. Again, people tend to they tend to put their hip on the wall. Yep. Don't let the hip go on the wall. Okay. It's the knee that needs to go on the wall. Okay. Come back. So you bum back. Go back. Go back, back, back. Shoulders forward, shoulders forward, shoulders forward, shoulders forward. Keep going, keep going. Good, now come up. Good to see now. <laughs> so bend here. Hip, 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 hip. Shoulders forward. Good, keep that knee up. There. Now come up again. You feel that smarting in your hip now? Good one. The ball is not allowed to go up and down. It can go left and right, uh, forward and back. Yeah, it's not going to go up and down. There we go. And then you'll see a lot less movement through there. You're getting smashed in here. Now, push harder through there. There's your load. Drive that knee into the ball. But you've got to sit, you got to sit your hips back, just like you go on a squat. That's it. And then, you know, just get them to go, you know what, I want you to hold this. Way you go again. Gives them a little bit of security. Way you go. Do it again. You'll find that way easier. Okay, so they go, okay, that's the movement pen I need to do. I'm going to try and, you know, replicate that. And as soon as you give them a few cues, they go, oh, my brain goes, oh, that's what I've got to do. Because they're learning a new skill, right? Not bad. So you're going to just watch his knee control here and make sure that that knee. Yeah. So he should always be able to see his big toe. You know, when you look at something, you should be able to see your big toe. And see how he's doing no linear old pattern movement. So you've got to make sure this goes into flexion as soon as that goes into flexion. Okay. So come up again. So as soon as that knee moves, you've got to move here. There you go. He's still a little bit more biased in the knee. He likes bending his knee forward. Doesn't like doing so much to the head. So I'm going to control you a little. Away you go again. There's your movement. That's what I want to do. Feel that? And then straighten up. Both extension here. Bang. Both at the same time. Beautiful. Yep, try when you do your step down, try your band. So keep that knee soft there. Yep. Then hinge that knee back. Come up. Whoop, two. Come up here a bit more. There. There's your end point. Now, you got to also watch what her hip's doing, okay? She might be, you can focus on the knee. Don't be afraid to look around. Is she dropping on one side on here? Yeah, there you go. Good correction. Okay? So just look at the t shirt line. <laughs> And see whether is that staying level here, or is she dropping away on one side and dropping it down? Because mm -hmm. you might not see the hip drop from the front. You might have to come from the back and have a look at it 